Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel. And today I'm here with Peter Cashin, the president and CEO uh, of Imperial Mining Group. Uh, ticker symbol is IPG on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you doing today, Peter? Good, Chris. Thanks very much. Yourself? Oh, good. Um, I think that, you know, I know a little bit about uh, your projects and, and Scandium and why, why it's important and Niobium especially. But I think let's just start off with um, just a quick overview for investors who may not know about why those two minerals are important these days. Well, Scandium and Niobium basically are alloy agents. Niobium in the instance of steel, uh, Scandium for aluminum. Uh, it's a strengthener of the uh, strengthener of those materials, uh, makes them corrosion resistant, so and makes them better, more applicable uh, materials for certainly for lightening of platforms and manufactured platforms, especially in the automotive and aerospace industry. Yeah, so we're talking about real, you know, ESG applications and infrastructure applications, which are a couple of hot buttons these days. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. So you're advancing a project in Quebec. Maybe we can just start with there. Uh, give us a, a couple of highlights that have happened in the last couple of months. Well, uh, we this past winter, we diamond drilled one of multiple zones of Scandi mineralization we have on the property. Uh, the intent there was to get enough drill information to do a resource calculation, 43101 compliant resource calculation. That's on the go right now. Um, and I think on Tuesday, we made an announcement that our crews are going back into the field to evaluate, a, I would say, another four or five targets that we've identified, that some of which have surface uh, mineralization, uh, scanning mineralization. Uh, to take a bulk sample, because we intend to, we've completed our flow sheet now at Good Recoveries. We're going to move that on to a pilot study probably in 2022. And then we've um, we've got a niobium tantalum uh, target that we identified uh, when I was running Quest. This property actually came with me when I left Qu uh, Quest Rare Minerals in uh, 2015, <clears throat> and it acted as our flagship for Imperial. And those niobium tantalum uh, targets are very very. We found in 2010. They're very high grade. Uh, we're going to go back and take a more serious look at them. So with this additional drilling, how much will that delay the 43101? Um, not the drilling is over and above this. Uh, we've got sufficient information now from the winter okay. program to go into the resource calculation. Uh, it's already in the hands of the engineers. Uh, they promised us delivery in August, uh, the end of this month or early September. Um, the additional work that we're doing is to get better definition of alternative targets just to see what the future of the project looks over and above what we currently have. And you mentioned you were, you've done some met work or some flow sheet work on that. And how, how is that advancing? Correct. The flow sheet is now completed, um, certainly up to the hydromet steps. Uh, we're producing a uh, pregnant lease solution and we're going to go now into solid extraction and uh, ion exchange to recover scandium product. So we're in the final, uh, the final stages of the, the MET flow sheet. Yeah. And so to dumb that down for, for engineers who, or people who aren't engineers who don't know, that, what does that mean from a flow sheet? What is that? That's, that's part of the processing. So can you just, uh, yeah. as I say, to dumb it down for the investors? Yeah, it's the multiple steps that are required to take the rock and bring the materials into solution so you can have it in a recoverable form. Right. So <laughs> in this instance, it's multi-steps. There's a there's a, a concentration step. Uh, the minerals the, the contain the scandium are magnetic, so you can actually concentrate the material you mine using a magnetic concentrator. Uh, then you move it in what they call hydrometallurgical work, which is now you bring all of that material into solution using various acids and caustic material to be able to crack the, uh, the scandium, the pain minerals away from the host mineral itself. Yep. And then the final yep. steps is solvent extraction or ion exchange where you've now got your metal of interest in solution and you're going to want to remove it, extract it uh, out of that solution and using different reagents uh, that are very selective uh, and specific to recover scandium. So you've got uh, a resource you're, you're defining, you've got a process, 
that uh, yeah. you think will be economics and, and how does that all tie together for the next step? Well, that's obviously we, we're also uh, doing an RFP for a marketing study. We've done quite a bit of extensive, uh, quite a extensive uh, strategic marketing on um, not just current market, but actually where the scandium could, with in the instance that a sustainable supply source would become available to the market. What is the growth potential of scandium across the full spectrum of manufacturing from automotive to defense, to aerospace, uh, to just the transportation industry in general. So that's the last step. And really those are all the different parts that are gonna be required for PEA. So for investors <laughs> looking for news uh, for the rest of the year, uh, it looks like you'll be uh, having a couple of um, major milestones for this year. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a resource estimate. Um, we're gonna have the drill information from the summer program. We're going to have some of the surface sampling results that we'll be undertaking. Um, we're going to, we're taking a 50 ton bulk sample, like I say, that, that's going to be required for our, uh, our pilot plant study that's going to happen in 2022. And then at the end of this year, having a PEA in hand. Well, I'm looking forward to following the story. You know, for any investor out there looking for who, you know, or who believes in the whole ESG with infrastructure, because, you know, both the, both these minerals, the scandium and the niobium are important uh, in, in that sector, especially for things like windmills, where you want to have lighter structures and longer lasting corrosion resistance. Uh, it plays an important role. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your time. Uh, it was uh, Peter Cashin, who was the president and CEO of Imperial Mining Group, uh, TSX uh, venture listed company with the ticker IPG. And I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. Have a great day.